Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, I want to talk to you about life and being an explorer, being a person that wants to live life, being a person that wants to get the most out of life. And you're an explorer if life is of the most integral importance to you. Living life, getting the most out of life, not wasting your life, but actually doing something, making something out of life and being where life is happening and not wasting the vital moments, you know, not wasting your life and your potential. Explorers place the most importance on being where life is happening and getting value out of life. And here I see that the explorer's key dilemma is that fear of wasting it, of not using it, of getting not getting enough out of it. And explorers, I think, are hit the most by like this midlife crisis, you know, this feeling that I didn't get the most out of life or of feeling trapped or feeling stuck or feeling like life is happening everywhere but where you are you know explorers are hit the hardest in times where they face like existential crises where they face near-death experiences and where they start thinking if i die now what did i do what did i accomplish did i actually make something out of life did i actually live life did i actually do the things i wanted to do and you know as an explorer you tend to have a bucket list you tend to see and think of things you would like to have accomplished things you would like to do things you would like done and the explorer falls under two core priorities in this they are extroverts and they are adaptive they're focused on what's happening around them and they're focused on changes in what's happening around them. They're focused on these two core things over two other things, over self, over home, over tribe. Tribe and self and home are the three things in opposition to life. Tribe or community, that's basically your conception of the people around you and of society and of what society expects from you and what you expect from yourself in regards to society. Being an important member of society, being somebody that other people look up to, making the most out of yourself in community, getting the respect and recognition of the community. Think of the person that wants the community to admire them. Think of the person, the individualist, that wants to be their own person, that wants to be of good integrity and character and conduct. And then finally think of the person with a strong sense of home, of what their home is and of what is of the biggest importance to them. What I found is explorers are likely to compromise these three things in favor of living life. If these things clash, if there is a clash between the, these things, the explorer wants most of all to make sure that uh, they are living and getting the most out of life. The explorer isn't introverted, so they don't get the same sense of uh, reassurance or calm or security or comfort as an introvert gets simply from being themselves or simply from having and maintaining their home or their comfort zone. The explorer feels the most secure, the most alive, the most in touch with themselves when they are out there where things are happening, when they're making things happen, when, they're, 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 when there are things going on, when there are things around them that matter. And so there is a desire to feel connected to life, to feel connected to the things around you. As an explorer, you want to feel connected and you kind of want to avoid responsibility in this. You know, think about all the times where people ask things of you like, uh, can you make sure you're always there at that time? Can you make sure that you're always doing it this way? Can you make sure that you're always following this procedure? Can you make sure that you take care of this? You know, as an explorer, these entanglements, expectations from the tribe and from the community demands uh, that are important for survival, for comfort, food, and uh, like the uh, having a place and all those things. They feel like burdens that take from your ability to appreciate and get the most out of life and when you have to deal with these things they make you feel it makes you feel as if you're not getting the most out of life it makes you feel like you're wasting your time when you're sitting in the classroom when you're staying at home when you're not doing anything you feel as if you're wasting time you know you have to separate between having a mindset 
and having a value for these things. There is a difference between having been taught that these things are important, that it is important to live life and to always have things going on. And there is a difference between that and actually wanting these things and actually valuing these things. So an explorer is a person that actually values these things. It's not because anybody told you to like it. It's not because your mom or dad wants you to have it. It's not because uh, what society expects from you. It's not that you're going out because you want to get people to like you for it. It's not that you're going out because uh, you're trying to get other people around you to uh, feel connected to you. You're going out because you want to go out. And that's something that can be hard for other people can, to understand. Why are you always doing things? Why are you always doing this or that? And they'll tell you, oh, why don't you just uh, stay at home today? Why don't you just take it easy, you know? I think about this a lot. I think about uh, what happens if we neglect our needs. And you know what I've come to realize is to an explorer does need a sense of home. They do need a tribe. They do need a concept of self. But when it comes to life, the explorer is dominant and vibrant and active and takes action. The explorer takes action and is vibrant and is alive and dominant when it comes to what's happening around them. They're giving orders. They're saying, let's do it this way. Let's change that. Let's fix that. Let's deal with this. But when they're at home, they're passive and they're stagnant and they're off. Like it's not, they're not on as in the same sense as when they're out there. They're actually more reactive. They're less responsive. They're less charged up. They're not doing anything you know when i'm home i'm the most productive i'm always writing i'm always creating i'm always making things but when explorers are at home i don't think they're doing a lot like um i think explorers feel much more zoned down and a lot less active and a lot less on like explorers like to have things happening they like to create on their feet they like to do things as they go they like to uh, be there where things are happening and that's where they do things and that's where they are the most dominant and that's where they take the most charge but at home I think they just let things happen like what do you want to do what are what would you prefer like the it doesn't matter as much what you do at home as an explorer and it's also that to an explorer it's important to have a home and so the thought of losing a home that's scary that's difficult that's harsh Losing friends, losing connection with other people, losing uh, touch with others, losing uh, touch with self, forsaking self, not having a self, not giving, living by your values or your standards or what you think is most important. That's scary, that's difficult, but you're not positive about this. You're merely trying to protect yourself. So it's that an explorer wants to protect their home to make sure they don't lose it, but they don't genuinely appreciate having a home. They don't. They want to make sure that they have it and that it's there and that it's there safe for them, that it's around, but they don't actively like it or depend on it or value it or appreciate it. So it's that feeling that the explorer searches for a home that will always be there for them. They search for a back they can always rest on. They search for a place that they can always feel comfortable having. Something they don't have to fear losing, you know. Something they can know will always be there for them. So that's very important for the explorer to feel that there is some kind of home that will always be there for them, no matter what they do and when or how. Or that they, to feel that it's always going to be there. It's important for them in their connections with other people to have friends and to have people around them that know that 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 they know will always have their back. And it's hard for an explorer to know that these things might expire, that if they don't uh, constantly work on it, that they if they don't constantly uh, verify it, it will go away. That's very difficult for an explorer to feel that things aren't temporary, that there is nothing that's going to last, that it's not going to last, that it's not going to be there. So an explorer seeks for some kind of accountability in the world around them, some kind of long-lastingness, some kind of dependability in other people. They look for that, they want to have that, they want to know that they have that. Even if they themselves are more mobile and more active and more fast-paced, they want to know that no matter what they do, that thing will remain. You know, the biggest anchor of an explorer is when they feel that they don't. 
when they feel that if they get too far out, if they get too crazy, if they take on too much, they will lose their home, they will lose their place, what they have. So the explorer struggles with this. The explorer struggles with this feeling that I'm going to lose my home, I'm going to lose my connections, I'm going to lose myself unless I constantly verify it and work on it. But the most of the time, the explorer just wants to live life. You know, they just want to have fun, to have experiences, to have changes, to change things, to make life happen. And it's important to look at explorer in a more proactive sense in this. The explorer is not just a person that wants for life to happen to them. The explorer is a person that wants to make life happen, you know. Explorers spread a sense of life everywhere they go. They create life around them. They create activity. They create things to do. They create things going on. When you have an explorer around, it's like there's always something going on around you. They always spread this energy, this action, this activity all everywhere they go. And so that's one of the best things about the explorer, the life they create, you know. I come from the perspective making this video of a leader and of a person that places home at the most significant importance. I come from the perspective of being a person that always has valued, always has maintained my own home and my own personal sphere. I've had a strong sense of responsibility and accountability and I've always felt very importantly that other people can rely on me, that I can uh, give and provide other people with a sense of home, you know. It's weird, like wherever I've gone, it's like, it's been as if I've created a sense of home around me. I tend to say that uh, leaders, we create a space where other people can come to and live and be and just be what, do whatever they like. And I pride myself on creating a space where explorers can thrive, you know, where they can come, where they can be themselves and in they, where they can create their activity and make things happen. And I love that exchange between these two things, you know. Sometimes I feel like you need to create platforms, you need to create spaces that the explorers can come to, that you need to create and form the countries, the nations, the cities, the tribes, the things where explorers can dance and where explorers can truly come off and be themselves and do things the way they want to. And uh, it's important to consider that explorers come from so many different angles and perspectives. There are different kinds of explorers with different kinds of mindsets. There are explorers out there that feel trapped and that feel focused on and too tied on by maintaining and keeping their sense of home intact. There are explorers too tied down by how other people see them and managing other people's expectations to the point where they stagnate and don't allow themselves to change. There are explorers that are too focused on protecting themselves and their individuality so that they keep themselves from having important experiences and going out and meeting people and doing and getting the most out of life. And this all has to do with mindset. And so as an explorer, you, has, you have to free yourself from this mindset. You have to free yourself from what other people have told you. You may have been told to be careful and to watch out and to protect yourself that you have something that you must constantly protect, that you uh, have to constantly maintain and guard yourself. But you have to kind of free yourself from this and you have to find a way to be and to make sure you live. You have to reaffirm to yourself that living life and getting the most out of life is more important than protecting yourself. And uh, you have to reassure yourself that when it comes to the community and what the community expects of you, what the community expects of you and what other people demand from you, it has to be reasonable. You have to learn to say no when people ask things of you. You have to learn to not get too burdened by the responsibilities other people try to put on you and expectations and norms they try to put on you. And you have to learn to say no, but. I think no, but is the most powerful word an explorer can learn. When other people are telling you to do something that goes against how you would like to do it, learn to say no, but. No, but as in, I will do something. I won't do this, but I will do something. I will do this. I can do this. I can't do that, but I can do this, you know? To allow yourself to have alternatives, allow, allow yourself to give options. When other people expect things from you, to allow yourself to have options, things you can provide for others besides what they expect from you, besides what they want from you besides the norms that they try to put on you. 
and uh, to allow yourself to spread your wings and to explore and to be out there and to live and uh, to find home that you can depend on places people you can rely on people that will take responsibility that will hold up the fort while you're gone and it will make sure things last and that things endure even is as you spread your wings and even as you let yourself jump and even as you let yourself try new things I believe that's the ideal partnership, the ideal way to get through life and to get the most out of it. If you're an explorer, feel free to share your experiences, freeing yourself from demands and expectations from the world. What was your process of becoming more free as a person? What made you feel that you had the most freedom and mobility? And how did you get the most out of life? How did you go from not living life and feeling trapped to actually being out there and actually living life? Thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you all in the next video.